Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can receive updates of the newest videos going up. For those of you guys that have been with me for quite a while, welcome, my lovelies. So you guys already know how this goes. So let's get into your reading cancer. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2021. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's coming forward for you guys. I hope you're doing amazing, Cancer. I hope you guys are not overly emotional or in your feelings. If you are, be patient with yourself. Everyone's been experiencing this as we are still experiencing the last full moon. All right, my lovelies, let's get into it. <clears throat> I'm sorry if my voice goes out when doing the reading. I've been doing consultations all day. And uh, yeah, so work with me. Let's work through this together. <laughs> I wanted to upload these videos before the 1st of April. I know that my timing is always off, you guys. I always have so many things to do. I wish you guys... Uh, could see what we do behind the scenes by the way you guys can follow me on tiktok instagram snapchat although i am much more um, active on instagram and tiktok you can find our tiktok on the link below uh, or our instagram as well follow us on there you get uh, instagram is more insight into the workings that i do uh, motivational uh, messages and funny messages as well as readings but my tiktok is daily messages so let's get into it cancer sun moon rising venus let's see what's going on here for you guys all right so your first card in regards to communication i have another sign i think it was if i'm not mistaken I don't remember if it was Aries or Taurus that had the Ace of Cups. So if you're connecting with a Aries or Taurus, go check out their video as this may be a message for you guys. All right. So with communication, we have the Ace of Cups. I feel that there's going to be some type of communication opening up for you guys. This could represent someone confessing their feelings or revealing their feelings to you, Cancer. Uh, this could be you as well. Uh, entertaining the idea or the possibility of some type of connection or deepening of a connection. For some of you guys, I'm hearing reminiscing about the past. This could be uh, that a person, an ex-partner, someone from your past randomly hits you up. Um, and it's almost because they've been thinking about you a lot, but I feel that there was a feeling of a missed opportunity. So it could have been a connection where both of you guys felt a connection uh, but timing was off is what they're telling me. So I feel them coming back around trying to uh, reconnect or trying to uh, see if there is a possibility of reigniting some type of missed opportunity is what they're telling me. But in regards in general to communication, the Ace of Cups is always reciprocation. So this is a very beautiful card. There's a lot of new beginnings for you Cancers as well in regards to love. Now, in regards to your finances and your career, you have the Page of Swords. So someone's definitely keeping an eye on you. I feel for some of you guys, this could be like uh, someone in your workspace or in your work um, workplace that is could come off a bit um, very pushy. It's kind of like that person that thinks they're the manager, you know? They try to tell you how to do things and you're like... Um, bitch you need to calm down you have the same position i do that type of energy i feel someone being very pushy and i feel that they're definitely going to work your nerve for some of you guys now for others of you uh, you may be dealing with an air energy aquarius gemini libra type of energy this could be the communication that's coming through that is connected to this ace of cups it could be a person from your past that is definitely keeping their eye on you. This could be them watching you through social media. This could be them looking at you on Facebook, seeing how your life is going. It's almost like they're wanting to see how life is going. Really what they're telling me is they want to see if you've moved on. That's why they're looking at your social media as they're trying to figure out if you're being with someone. If not, or if they don't see anything like that, that's when the communication happens. That's when they decide to reach out to you. Now, in regards to your challenge for the month of April, you have the Ace of Swords. 
So the Ace of Swords as a challenge is being able to see behind the lies. This is not trusting or believing people at face value. This is listening to your intuition, knowing or connecting with higher spirit and understanding that there's certain things where we just have to cut certain people, certain situations out of our life. Uh, for some of you guys, again, I'm getting very strong air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. For others of you, water energy like yourself, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces type of energy. I feel that for some of you guys, you've been debating or trying to figure out um, in regards to a connection, in regards to love and romance. It's almost like there was, and I keep hearing for a lot of you guys, there could have been a missed opportunity. There could have been a situation where you met the person, you guys were very connected, and for some reason, things just didn't take flight or it didn't progress. It could have been that they had to travel or they had to move. Some type of move happened in this connection. And I feel that that was the blockage. And moving forward, there is communication that starts to open up. There is clarity about a situation specifically to do with love and romance. So if you've been dealing with a situation where you feel or felt like you didn't have some type of clarity or some type of closure. I feel that that's coming through for you guys. For a lot of you guys, it is a new opportunity. It's almost like spirit is trying to guide you to, It's it, what I'm hearing is what is meant for you will never pass you by. I just feel that for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with the person that both of you guys were like not on the same page or one or the other was being pulled towards some type of soul purpose or soul growth. I feel that they're coming back around trying to communicate because they're trying to see if this can actually, if you guys can reignite is what I'm hearing. So I do hear reconciliation for some of you guys. For others of you, the obstacle to overcome here with the Ace of Swords is to see things clearly for what they are. So this is, like I said, not trusting people at face value, but paying attention to how they're acting or how they're treating you with their actions, cancer. It's not about wishful thinking. It's not about, well, you know, I'm undecided. I am unsure because they come off as immature or playing games. What Spirit is telling you is, yes, there is a connection. However, love is not meant to be, you know, difficult or feeling like you don't know where you stand with the person. A person that is genuinely interested in you is going to put the effort and energy into accommodating you or wanting to make time to see you, to spend time with you. With the Ace of Swords, there's an aha moment. There is clarity that comes through. But as an obstacle, what they're telling you here, it's take things for what they are. Meaning, when you start to see certain behaviors, certain patterns in regards to this specific individual, trust that. Don't sit back and be like, well, they can prove me wrong. Uh, I'm going to wait for them. You know, I'm going to let this red flag go and see where it goes. Um, maybe they can change. Maybe they're uncertain. Whatever the situation is, what they're telling you here is do not ignore your intuition. This is downloaded information that you're getting. Listen to your intuition, Cancer. Now, in regards to your finances, like I said, I feel that there may be a person that is making or creating some type of blockage uh, in regards to your growth and advancement in the workplace. Listen to your intuition. Again, if you feel like you shouldn't trust that person, don't trust them. Keep your guard up, but keep doing you, baby, because at the end of the day, you're going to overcome this uh, sneaky behavior or this person that doesn't really want the best for you, you're going to shine regardless. You have two aces here in this reading. So there is major new beginnings for you guys and transformation that's happening. Again, do not be intimidated, especially if they're really creating a lot of obstacles. Now, in regards to love uh, and romance, your emotions, the element of water, we have the 10 of wands. So a lot of stress or a lot of burdens, feeling like you have a lot of responsibilities. Uh, this could be almost, again, uh, kind of like the feeling of someone from your past coming back around trying to reconnect with you. And you may have been on this process or on this journey of moving on or moving towards better things. And there is hesitation here. There is a feeling of, I don't want to miss what if this time we can get it right. I don't want to miss that opportunity. 
Again, what they're telling you is don't drop everything that you have going on in your life right now, Cancer, especially if it's a person from the past. Don't drop what you're doing for them. Allow them to incorporate you into their lives uh, to work something out, meaning if, if it's about going out or spending time together or trying to reconnect, allow them to work their schedule around your schedule. Do not drop what you're doing or where you're at right now to give that opportunity. They're not telling you be closed off, but what they're saying is learn to make yourself a priority cancer. Now, Spirit's message here is the Page of Wands. A lot of movement, like I said, I see a passion. I see passion being reignited here. For others of you, this could be a new endeavor. This could be being very creative right now. And what they're telling you is, again, if you've been on this journey towards achieving or accomplishing some type of goal, whether it be in your finances or in your career, do not drop that. Continue on the path that you're in. Even if this person from the past uh, comes back around, let them be the ones to make you or to incorporate you into their schedule. Don't be you the one that drops, you know, the daily things that you have to do just to meet them. No, it has to be the other way around. The Page of Wands, um, the Page of Swords, immature energy. There's a lot of growth that needs to happen. Yes, this person could be coming in uh, with genuine intentions. Maybe they did grow. Maybe they did have or they do have genuine intentions in regards to picking up where you guys left off. But what they're telling you here is be practical. If this person in the past was not mature, uh, don't take that as fa a face value like, oh yeah, they've changed. No, allow their actions to prove this to you, Cancer. All right, and let's see what the Oracle cards have to say for you. What is the Oracle message here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April? 2021. What is the oracle message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2021? One more. Okay. Oh, there we go. And we have contract. So contract could be a representation of the justice card. This is balance, but this can also represent um, again, like I said, I, I keep hearing for a lot of you guys, this could be a situation where things were very imbalanced. Perhaps there you felt like you were treated unfairly, or perhaps this person, um, this person that you connected with in the past didn't make it clear why they kind of just, you know, let the, the momentum of where this connection was going, whether or whether they just kind of, you know, stop communicating um, this is a feeling of being or have been treated unfairly and spirit is giving you an opportunity to see that you're going to be, I don't want to say vindicated, but it's almost the feeling like that things are starting to balance themselves. They're starting to clear things up. And for some of you guys, this could be a soul contract that you're dealing with because we have two aces and the ace of cups. Uh, so for some of you guys, this could be, I don't want to say a soulmate connection. It could be for some of you guys with the 10 of wands here could represent a soul karmic connection. Uh, so there is something that was not learned or has not been yet learned from uh, this person that is coming back around. Uh, so there is unfinished business is what they're telling me. Okay. So again, I hope that these messages give you some type of insight, some type of clarity. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.